for joining us at the 2015 CWF Homecoming. This is one of my favorite nights of the year because this is the night that so many returning faces join us. And I want everyone in this room to please welcome one of my all-time favorites. I'm always happy to see him, handsome Mitch Carter. Always an absolute pleasure to welcome you back to the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium. I've said it on numerous occasions. If there's ever a Hall of Fame for CWF Mid-Atlantic, this yeah, guy should yeah, go in it. Yeah, yeah, Weaver yeah, Cup yeah. champion, former television champion, and just all around a good guy to know. Welcome to the CWF Homecoming. And uh, I know you wanted to, to address the crowd and kind of fill them in. For anybody that doesn't know, our big main event tonight is Zane Dawson. Yeah defending the Pro Wrestling International Championship against Eric Royal in a lumberjack match. Wrestlers will surround the ring and act as lumberjacks to keep the fight in the ring and to make sure that we get a one, two, three, and a winner here tonight. But Mitch, you have declined being able to, to participate as a lumberjack. And uh, I know you wanted to talk a little bit about that and just uh, some of the health problems that you've had, some of the, the things that have ailed you, and some of the reasons that prevent you from getting physically involved anymore in 2015. Well, Brad, I certainly am sad to decline, and I appreciate your concern for my health. Uh, I promise you, you've no idea how badly I want to be a lumberjack in this match. You've no idea how badly I'd like to do one more match, Jimmy. And I won't lie to you, even now, with one good eye and a brain that's half gone to mush, I am more than man enough to teach these lawless punks that there is a consequence for their actions. But I'm, but I need a promise. That promise. You make a commitment to do what's right, and when it's made, you think, Phew, that wasn't so bad. And then the other shoe drops. Uh -huh. Come on. And you are made to remember that there is a price for doing what's right. Yes. And sometimes the people you care about are the ones who have to pay that price. Yes. Three months ago, I came out here and reaffirmed my commitment to honor my promise to Kandrak and never wrestle again. Uh. And since then, I've had to stand on the sidelines like a damned coward while the riot has assaulted wrestlers, referees, and even you, Brad Stutz. Now, now, don't get me wrong. I'm not out here to shed tears for Jesse Adler or Andrew Everett or Eric Royal. These are good men who deserve much better than what the riots dished out to them. But they're wrestlers. Some would argue they signed on for this, that it's all in the game. But the referees? And Stutzy? Brad Stutz is my brother. I know he's my brother because we fought like brothers fight. Hurt each other and forgiven the way only family hurts and forgives. And if he's a brother to me, what must he be to you, Nick Richards? We're talking about Brad Stutz, who stood up for you. A thousand times he stood up for you when no one, myself included, had the courage to stand up for the likes of you. Shame on you, Richards. Shame and disgrace on you, Richards, and those who stand with you. There's a reckoning coming. I won't be the one who brings it, but it's coming all the same. Riot, you're gonna learn. 